Hey, what's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day! Uh, so, today's video is a video I promised. Okay, uh, last week I had done a poll, but um, I had gotten more votes for a darted tank. However, uh, there were our two subscribers who are having trouble with their... Um, I always pronounce it the Alternanaka Renakai. Oh, God. Anyway, so that's the name. Anyway, yes, this plant has been uh, frustrating me also. And actually, my son's here. Say, say, say hey, what's up, man? Hi. Yep. He's sitting in on this tutorial also. Uh, so there's, and you guys specifically, uh, uh, and who were they? Gary Allen and I Live for Tropical Fish. I made you guys the promise. So today's Monday, and I am going to literally do it to mine, show you what I'm talking about, and you do the same thing. And we're going to kickstart their growth and start propagating them, depending on which kind you, on which kind you have. So uh, the ones that I have, I actually purchased a long time ago. I mean, every plant, I have over 50 plants that I've dealt with, and I've gone through the propagation process on all of them over the last eight months even the slow stuff the java ferns and anubias and they've all surpassed it and i and i have still been waiting on my ars okay and then i realized my ars that i got were both tissue cultured although now i go to nurseries and stuff uh they were both tissue cultured and sold to me uh one from pets mart and one from petco okay so if if you guys happen to get yours from there as well, you're gonna you're gonna have what what I think you might be having going on also, okay? Because they are a tall you know uh, type of stem plant, but also really heavy root uh, root feeders. Um, but I drew a diagram, all right, and um, you know I, I know my drawing skills are awesome, but uh, seriously, if y'all start like blowing up my mailbox with you know I love you letters and stuff, I'm, I'm gonna kill the can the channel now. So. Anyway, you have the regular variant of AR that gets really tall, okay? Really tall, and you know when it's ready to be propagated is because it'll start growing this mass of roots out of the center of it. And inside of that will be little tiny baby ARs in there, and you would slowly just pull the little babies out very slowly like you would with java fern very very slowly take your time and replant it and keep plucking everyone off until you've gotten them all all right now if you got what I think I have uh, which is called the AR mini it is a variant and I had done some reading that um, it's being passed off as uh, through some places as um, regular AR but it's actually the mini variant which is actually one sign you can tell is that if it's growing a bit abnormally than what you think is slow and in this hobby we know every even the plants we say are fast growing it's not like you wake up tomorrow and the plant is done its thing we're still talking weeks if not like a month you know or even six months but it's been over eight and this plant has been bugging me and I need to get to the bottom of it so if it is the variant mini it'll actually stay exceptionally brighter on its underside than it would if it was a tall this is without co2 they do prefer co2 but just because it's a plant that prefers co2 doesn't mean you can't pull it off in a non co2 tank it just takes longer people who use co2 are impatient all right you, you know so there are before and i'm going to literally pull it out we're going to do this together so the two of you this is specifically for the for the two of you so if anyone watches, it's for you. And I promised it today, on Monday the 11th. So, um, I'm going to show you what to do, what to look for. I'm going to rip the whole thing out. You know, several of them, out of the dirt. And we're going to inspect these, okay? And uh, first thing I'm going to tell you right now is that I've been able to keep their pink and red very well. And I've been doing that because I know they need a lot of iron and they also want a lot of light so when you put them in a tank put them in a tank that with other plants that don't mind a lot of bright lights valicinaria is one of them you know taller plants uh, and then 
they need lots of iron. And the two best um, iron supplements, that's if you don't get an organic soil that already has iron in it. Look at the guaranteed analysis. All of them are going to have a lot of potassium and nitrogen and phosphates. Some of them will also provide either calcium and some will also provide iron and some will also provide magnesium. Usually not all of those, just like one of those four. And I usually just go with the nitrogen, potassium, um, and phosphates. Um, and then I, ha I have the liquid ferts that provide the iron, um, which is what they love. But anyway, um, Co-op does make a great iron supplement. It's just iron. The amount of it per dose is uh, 26 parts per million. Now, actually, Fluval, I do, I, you know, they're all great in their own way. None is truly, you know, none of, no liquid ferts are truly the best ferts. Okay, and eventually when you do have fish going, their ammonia will also provide a lot of minerals that they need. You know, because it's all in the food that you feed them. But anyway, you know, that's why liquid ferts work best during its transition for a month or two at least before you throw fish in there. Is let them learn how to live off their own ammonia first. Because they'll create their own ammonia from their own leaves, melting back, falling off. It creates ammonia, ammonia, a smaller amount, and it trains itself to be ready for ammonia. And then when you do get fish in there, it's ready to go. And then it's like, it already knows how to convert it into energy. You know, because plants um, do go through a cycling phase as well. Um, you know, besides the water. They go through an ammonia cycling. So they can actually get ammonia burn if there's too much. So you're putting fish in there right away. Um, you haven't let your plants go through their own personal cycling yet first either. So um, anyway, uh, what I love about Fluval, before I get off subject, it has, so like the uh, Easy Iron by Co-op has, per dose has uh, 0.26 parts per million, which is really low. You know, that's essentially a quarter of 1%. Um, Fluval Grow its iron uh, concentration is 0.65, a lot higher. It's a lot more concentrated, but it is super dose. Like this, the cap is measured per for a 60 gallon tank. So you're going to have to divide that up between some spoons to do anything less than that because it's it's such a huge it's such a huge concentrated amount. Um, I don't know why they assume everyone just starts off with 60 gallon tanks, but I've been doing this for a long time and I still don't have a 60 gallon tank. I mean, 40 gallons are massive and they're like, we're not going to get into that now, but I have an argument about that too. You know, tank size does matter. So anyway, but besides the high amount of iron, which does beat, um, you know, aquarium co-ops iron, which is just iron, this also provides a lot of potash. Uh, and nitrogen, some extra nitrogen, but it's a small amount. Um, boron, copper, uh, manganese, you know, so which are the micro elements, which is great. So I prefer this, and it's not that expensive. Neither one is expensive. Uh, both have to be ordered online. I think the only place I've actually seen this on the shelf was one time at a PetSmart. I've never seen it at a Petco. Um, but if you don't like ordering online, API is sold widely at um, PetSmart, and they sell the API, um, their food supplement, which is just iron and potassium, and that's the only kind they sell. Or if you go to Petco, they sell Aquion's iron. So if you're going to physically go to a store, either one of those big chain stores will sell you iron supplement. Just PetSmart is better because it, uh, it also has uh, potassium in it. So anyway... This video is already running super long, so let's pull it out. I'm going to pull the plant out. We're going to inspect it. And I have a feeling what I've been dealing with are actually the minis. Because they've had plenty of time to exceed, um, you know, this 14-inch height they're supposed to get. I mean, they're, they're definitely, you know, <clears throat> a bright red. I mean... 
Look at that. I know that's kind of hard to tell. It is uh, late at night. Usually I do this early in the morning. But, I, I, you know, I'd already pulled a few out before that because I, I wanted to test my theory first so I didn't look like a fool, you know, on, uh, on my YouTube video. But anyway, one of the signs that it's a mini is if um, it's a super bright, vibrant pink underneath. Okay, and this is without CO2. All right, keep in mind because I do non-CO2 uh, tanks. So if it's got a super bright pink underside, the minis will keep that. The ones that grow tall, that are 14 inches or so, um, those lose their pink and they start turning a nasty brown on top and underneath. I mean, not nasty, just, you know, that's an opinion. Okay, someone else could see that brown and be like, that is a lovely brown. Okay, so I don't want to offend you people. Yes, brown is a great color. All right, anyway, and I noticed that it's been eight months and look at how tall they are. For something that's supposed to grow 14 inch, 14 inches, it shouldn't take an entire year, okay? I've dealt with, you know, a lot of freaking plants, all right? And um, anyway, so the minis, like I said, will fool you. They stay small for good, like six inches uh, max, and they propagate different from the adults. The adults grow tall and their propagation starts from the center. You'll see a huge mass of roots growing from the center and then inside that mass of roots are little babies and you just slowly pluck them away from the stem like you would the babies from the leaf of a java fern. If it's the small uh, variant, the mini, they stay the vibrant pink, they don't turn brown and um, they split underneath the gravel. So that dawned on me a couple weeks ago and I started questioning whether I actually had the tall AR or if I had the mini variant. And uh, so I pulled them out and I did notice some roots in the center, you know, coming off the sides. But there weren't a bunch. Um, it looked like it was, you know, attempting, at, uh, attempting to do both. But then I looked underneath what was underneath the soil. <clears throat> and look at what we got. It's splitting. It started off as, I want to show you so you can see, it, it started off as one cluster, you know, just one stem. Actually, here's a better view. And it started breaking into several pieces. All right, so I was like, I have the variant, the mini. So what I need to do, and uh, just so you know, you can speed up the growth of plants, any plants, just by trimming the tips of the tops. So what I need to do is I need to spread these out, and they are all connected. You don't just pull them, pull them away. It was the base breaking into pieces. So I'm going to split every single one of these, and then I'm going to show them to you. And these start getting flimsy fast. I also have a spray bottle. Soak these good. They 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 want to be under underwater. They start wilting like uh, this is getting soft super fast on me. So, although this is a long video, you know I explain everything in full detail. You know, here is the other one, and one more to snip. And look, out of one that started splitting under the surface. Look at how many I got. I got four. Now we're all going to watch it grow at the same time. Let's do this! I appreciate you all uh, staying tuned and watching to the end. I really appreciate it. Uh, just so you know, you plant the four that we divided. You plant them just the way you did in the beginning. And, um, and then just do more waiting. Um, and then if you didn't notice the message, you, if you think you have the tall variant 
you count down one node and snip that off the top and just toss it. I know it seems like a waste, but it is not going to grow a new plant like other stem plants that way. So uh, thank you so much. I do appreciate the subscribers who requested this video. I know there were some cuts here and there. I was, uh, I kept having to go, anyway, I'm not going to explain it. But this Wednesday, due to the amount of requests, I'm going to do a fish room tour of all my fish tanks and also look forward to it because I'm going to be doing a giveaway uh, that I'll explain on Wednesday. So you don't want to miss that. And at the end of that video, I will explain how you can get something uh, for free from me. I'm going to pay for it, and I'm going to mail it to your house. So, uh, let's look for that. And also, if you haven't subscribed, you do need to be a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, I'm not going to give it to some random person. I want it to be to somebody who has actually been here and listening to the advice that I give them you know, or subscribe or whatever. But anyway, we'll get into that later. Thank you so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And thanks again uh, for uh, the two subscribers who requested this video. I live for Tropical Fish and Gary Allen. Don't miss this video. I walked you through it. So, see you next time. We'll see you Wednesday. Fish Room Tour and Giveaway.